Hey guys, Shelby Smith and Jiminy Crickets coming at you live from the Cricket Castle with your five week update. Starting to get loud in here again. Is it time for breeding? We can have baby crickets soon. Stick around, check it out. Holy cow, is that an albino cricket? Nope, that's a freshly molted cricket. If you watched last week's video, you remember that the females needed to go through one more molt to get a fully formed ovipositor. And now, as you look at the majority of these females, they've all gone through their final molt. So they have fully developed ovipositors. And if you listen closely, you'll notice that the males are much louder. Must be time for breeding trays. For breeding trays, you first have to pick your substrate. I like peat moss. You gotta make sure that it's wet through so that there's plenty of moisture. Dry eggs are non-viable eggs. I place the breeding trays in the bins for 24 to 48 hours. That gives the females plenty of time to get into the substrate and start laying their eggs. If you notice those ones that look like they're kind of dancing with their legs, that's actually them pushing that ovipositor into the substrate, depositing their eggs, and then they'll move on. They'll lay between five and 10 per day. Here are the same crickets one week ago, and here they are today. You'll notice a larger body and a much more pronounced ovipositor. And if you listen carefully, you'll notice how much louder the males are this week in comparison to last week. We should have cricket babies in about 10 to 14 days. Thanks for watching, and for more information, please visit JiminyCrickets.com.